life is a gift of God. What do we do with our life? Is our gift to God. Our life becomes a gift the moment we realize that I am not alone. I am because He is. I am because we are. I'm not alone. I'm here because someone has given me life. That's why in the book of Colossians chapter 3 St. Paul beautifully tells us about the human life on this earth. He says in chapter 3 If you have been raised with Christ seek the things that are about where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above not on things that are on earth for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with Him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, on Verse 9 onwards Do not lie to one another Seeing that you have Stripped off the old self With its practices And now You have clothed yourself With a new self Which is being renewed in knowledge According to the image Of its creator In that renewal there is no longer Greek or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free. But the truth is, Christ is all and all in Christ. And live out your life. Some get stuck up with self many get stuck up with themselves and their life becomes a miserable life. They are always stuck up with themselves. What to eat? What to drink? Who will, make, who will love me? Who will appreciate me? Who will lift me? Who will make me great? Who will make me high? Who will, who will I, I have to be heard. I have to be loved. I have to be become famous. I have to achieve this. I have to do this. Their whole life is surrounding themselves. They get stuck up with themselves. If somebody says something to them, they are upset. They are angry. They can't go beyond the hurts. They get stuck up with the hurts. They get stuck up with the happening. Something has happened to their lives. They become upset. They become depressed. Something happened to their family. They get stuck up. They can't go beyond. God stuck up with the self. Trying to save themselves. Trying to. They can't go beyond themselves. A young man married a young woman and he loved her so much. After long years of their friendship, he could get married and he brought, he was so happy, he brought a boat full of flowers. He decorated that boat and kept his beloved newly married wife. And he started to row the boat because they have to reach their home on the other side of the bank of the river. 
as he was rowing the boat suddenly he saw a very big wind is coming and towering the boat and the woman got scared and she began to shout he said keep quiet we have to we are almost reaching but again another big wind came almost it put the boat into the water like she cried what are you doing take care he looked at her please don't disturb me again she shouted took his collar and said are you not seeing what's happening the people who get stuck up with themselves they drown they drown others also many of the times people see things not as what is but as they are many of the time people see things not as it is but they see as they are if they are frightened they see everything is going to be destroyed if they are disturbed they disturb everybody and they think everything is gone so the man took his gun put it on her forehead i will shoot you keep quiet she smiled and said i know how much you love me how many years you waited for me to get married and will you shoot me you can shoot because i know you have no heart to shoot me you may have the guts to shoot but you don't have the heart to shoot i know how much you love me then he said look i was an ordinary boy my god raised me your father told unless i have money i can't marry you i trusted in god lord if it is your will if you give me riches i will marry her if it is not you will find somebody else god gave me the riches and i married you i am because he is what is this wind the one who gave us the boat is the owner of the wind and the water keep quiet kai don't look at me don't look at the wind look at the one who has called us who is with us he will reach us shore and within no time they reached the shore as she was holding the hand of him i'm happy do you know why god has given you two hands he asked she said yes for what one hand to hold me and the other hand to always raise up to heaven that you belong to me because you belong to him that's what the word of god teaches us today man who are you easily you can get stuck up with yourself and st- when you get stuck up with yourself you have your own you make your world around you what's happening to you affects you with that you affect the whole world but rather you are supposed to be affected by him you are here because he has sent you he has sent you because you are to be sent somewhere else his light is given to you that you may shine in his light and give that light to the world john chapter 1 verse 4 says the light that shines on every humanity has come upon you 
the light that shines on every humanity every human beings is shining on you that through you that light may go to the humanity that is the meaning of that statement the light that shines on every human being has come to shine on you it is shining on you that you may carry that light to all over the world but when you get stuck up with yourself you die in your own self <laughs>